off. The heels are on. It's Let Me Finish with Emmy Award winning sports reporter Susie Schuster and senior West Coast editor of Vanity Fair, Krista Smith. It's not easy to get a word in edgewise, but they'll try. And now, here's Krista and Susie. Hi, thanks so much for joining us for Let Me Finish. Krista's already bossy. We're just barely on the air. We have so much to talk about today, it is insane. We're going to, of course, do Team USA. World Cup Roundup, we're going to talk about Wimbledon, the incredible match of the week, of the year, of the century that was played out there. Of course, we're going to do our favorite things like D-Bag of the Week, and yes, there are three, three guys up for consideration, and I'm sure you recognize them all. Cheat sheet, things we love, but first of all, Krista's going to big time all of us with her night last night. So let's hear mm -hmm. all about it, Krista, because somebody was special. <sighs> yeah, well, Wimbledon may have gone, that match may have gone 10 hours, but these people were camping out for, I think, was it six days? prior and this my favorite uh the horns of the world cup can't compare to 6,000 screaming teens because i was at the twilight premiere last night in downtown los angeles it was fabulous and the beautiful thing about la is a city where really the men very few of the men are taller than five nine so when a ron artest walks down the red carpet in his yellow canary yellow uh tracksuit had some kind of i don't even know what kind of chinese writing Did you on really it. It wear fantastic. a tracksuit yeah some run, form run. of a tracksuit. It was a formal tracksuit, which is right. my favorite. Coupled with um, Evan Lysacek, Chrissy uh -huh. Yagamuchi, a couple of good athletes there. No one recognized her. They barely recognized him. He's obviously been spending a lot of his winnings because he was trapped in gold. But my favorite... Um, He's like Liberace. Ish. Ish. Uh -huh. Liberace. But um, my favorite spotting was A-Rod, who for one second I thought might have been Derek Jeter when I was watching it from behind. But... Uh -huh. uh, he was great, and I told him that I was not Team Edward or Team Jacob. I was Team Edward, you know, Team A-Rod. Mm -hmm. And uh, he was fantastic, but guess who was there? That's a shocker. Now, Susie, I can't here's believe the those thing. Kardashians came out. Yeah, can you believe it? I was shocked, and the crowd went nuts for the Kardashians. Now, here's the thing I want to just focus on. Uh -huh. She's, what, 12? She's 12 years old. Okay, and what? she's... 40, right? She's the one who She's basically brought her, her reality show to my doctor's office last right. week. Right. Oh, this is the, this is the, not the fake wife. This is the, that's just the. Courtney. Right. The child She's the out of wedlock. She's the one who married right? the loser okay. guy. And this is Kim, who in my mind is, love. I love, untouchable. And then who's this one? This is the 14-year-old sister, by the way, 14. I love how they already had the so sultry 12 look and down. Four tree. Look, but I was 14, I didn't. But it's kind of amazing because this was the whole look of the premiere. I have to say, here's the thing. Twilight, the movie's great. Go see it. Rob Pat, Taylor Lautner, pouting Kristen Stewart. They're all great. But what's so frightening about this is I can handle this. Mm -hmm. This is kind of cute and a little bit of eye candy. What I can't handle is all the soccer moms from Orange County in the same dresses. Yeah, okay. That's so bad. In the like my first premiere dress with mm. huge he heels, teetering, screaming for, uh, for Rob Pat. Do we have that picture, Matt? I just think it's so frightening that and they're, they get to wear those And that's who they're screaming outfits. for, <laughs> Rob Pattinson. Is he in Devo? Yeah, no, it was pretty good. And she was doing her, you know, Bjork outfit there, that kind of swan number. She looked kind of great. He was really hot, I have to say. I thought he was kind of hot. He looks like a pug. Taylor Lautner, he was great. No, he looks like Six the kind of guy in high school. 6,000 so people, cute. Susie, downtown. Really? Yeah. Fun? It was really fun. I mean, it was fun because I was with a two ten-year-olds, so that was fun. And my, the biggest part was I had to drag them through and throw them in front of as many famous people as possible, which actually wasn't that hard. Um, and they're freaking out because all the, uh, you know, Drake and Zach and all those Disney shows, all those Disney right. people were there, and uh, the Karate Kid was there. All those creepy Smith. little, all those creepy little child they're actors. They're weird, like Zach and Stokely. They're all bizarre yeah. names. But uh, Jaden Smith was there. Uh -huh. No that had to be exciting. Me, Jaden Smith. So, yeah. who were you more excited about, Ron Ron or, you know, A Rod for me? Are you kidding? A Rod? And, and here's the great right. thing about LA they don't even know an athlete. They don't even know it's A Rod. No one could care less. They're screaming for this guy who, in like two years, could be doing a training video. Anyway, and there's A Rod, down. and it's like no one, no one notices in LA. Of course, the Dodgers are taking on the Yankees for a little three day spin around over at Chavez Ravine. So it starts tonight, but the guys came in early last night to get a nice night's rest, clearly. And go to a premiere. Taking advantage of get that some night popcorn. of rest. Mm -hmm. Yeah, of course. That's just, I'm sure, what uh, Girardi was hoping that yeah. he would do.
Sure, Kuwait, stay in your hotel or go to a premiere. Great job. I hope you're home tonight. So anyway, should we move on? Are we ready? Or you want to yeah, talk I a little more? Uh, Kim's coming a little bit back later in the show, so I'm going to let her go for right now. Today. So, I mean, if you, if you need your fill, go! You're going to get it. Come on, Susie. World Cup! Woo! Talk to me. Talk to me about Sorry, your uh, jock fever um, right now. So your I World Cup say, fever. I am. I was such a non-believer two weeks ago and now I'm the biggest big shot loser like I know everything but the World Cup which of course I don't I just know who's hot and who's yeah. not but the fact of the matter is Team who's USA. Who's that? Who's that playing right there? Dempsey baby. Clint Dempsey. Uh -huh. hey, baby. You gotta shoot to score Listen, baby you gotta shoot to score. That was score. the offsides goal that got recalled Krista actually and uh, yeah, look, well let's talk about that. Let, let me finish. Wait. Let me finish. Okay let's talk about this. Here's the problem FIFA. Okay you're like the Vatican. Enough already. All right it's 2010, okay? Everybody can see this in HD on their iPhone, on their whatever the iTouch just came out. Do you want to okay. set this up? Do you want to set this no, up? Or I have no it interest right in, in setting okay. this up. Uh -huh. FIFA, okay. you've got to get an instant replay in the box, okay? No more of this nonsense. All these goals being called up. I don't, I don't care what happens at the pitch mm. and someone's diving. It doesn't matter. But when it involves goals, we can't have it. I mean, here again, luckily the U.S. won. Well, Chris is referring to, of course, Team USA was. Uh, Come on, everybody they, saw it. They three, scored. Three million people watched what that game. You're if acting somebody like was want watching Twilight One and Two, could have I happened. I don't know. Everyone was. Let's watching just face it. Here's Clint Dempsey. Oh, yeah, this well, is that's the that's the, this that is the, was the goal hurled goal. around the world. This was the goal hurled around the world. Yeah. But the bat basically what happened was that Clint Dempsey had scored. It got called back offsides. It was a BS call. Thank God, US. Came back and but scored this But more importantly, goal. there was Not a handball that, that didn't get that right. didn't get called. There was an offsides that wasn't an offsides. There was an offsides that was and went in. I mean, it's not just been happening to the U.S. And like in any sport, you have to play above the refs. The you refs have suck to be better. The, the, the refs they don't are suck. Awful. They have a very difficult job to do. But in this day and age, when you're sitting, it moves the sport backwards in my mind because I have someone like Susie Schuster, the biggest snob on the planet, who is about like it's got to be baseball, football, basketball, is obsessed with the World Cup now. Okay, I really like the now World Cup. you are going to not move forward with it, correct? When you're calling me up, texting me at 6:15 in the morning, this sucks because you don't understand the rules. It doesn't because, make no, sense. It's, it's the moving the sport Excuse backwards. me. Excuse me. It's nothing to do with not understanding the right. rules. Okay. I don't have to know the rules to know what bullshit call when I see it. Right. I mean, over and over, how All many right. times are they right. going to get rooked? This is like the fifth bad call against the U.S. But it's just not I'm not, even, not, I'm not being them. some patriotic yeah. you know, wacko. I know, but it's not. Saying, this, is, but this, is what it, this wouldn't happen in the NFL. Right. It's called replay. Right. It's called having multiple refs on the field. How can you call this World Cup? And there's one guy in the field. Yeah. Get your lazy asses out there. Add a ref. I know. Well, the you get it's the not, guy it's from not lazy. Too. Here's the thing. I don't even think adding a ref would help it. It's it's the reality of this sport, which now we can say in 2010 right. is the world sport. Right. Okay. And when you have an entire village on a dirt road, you know. Uh, 500 people crowding around one television with an antenna, they can see that it's a bad call. It's just not the same anymore, let alone us and our fancy houses with our air conditioning and the jumbo jumbotrons. Can we so, just say that this was an incredible, maybe not this one, if we could even see any shot of Landon. It was just such a great moment for every American everywhere on the planet. It was a great we saw moment a video for soccer. From everywhere. It was every a great bar. moment for soccer. And I'll tell you, you know why it was a great moment? You know why you liked it? I'd love to get a word You in liked it before 90 minutes, okay? Right. 94 minutes they did not stop. There was no timeouts, oh, take a break, commercial break. For 90 minutes these guys were, and that's why the U.S. won. How well conditioned are these guys? They're this is the really part that well kills me. But they're, they, they got trouble, on, they got trouble on Saturday. You got trouble we're, we're, with we're, Ghana? We're, yeah, we got trouble with Ghana. Really? Mm -hmm. Is Ghana the only um, uh, African Bafana, team left? Bafana, Bafana, exactly. Ghana is the only African team left to actually to make it through. Sadly, South right. Amer uh, South Africa didn't. Uh, and Cote d'Ivoire is out even though they beat North Korea. The, yeah, it's, it's the African teams have been a colossal disappointment in this World Cup. But Ghana managed to squeak by. They've got tremendous youth. Uh, energy and 90,000 people in that stadium are going to be blowing this and I would blow it now but I can't because we have a dog on the set but Hudson this cover your ears. is going to be the United States are the underdogs on paper they're the much better team but in that stadium it's an X factor I love the point that you made when we were reviewing for the show about all the Africans are the greatest marathoners in the world and yet the Africans are not I don't get it I don't get it I know it's weird I mean, it sounds kind of un PC to say but like Every year, a Kenyan is winning the, the marathon by like 20 minutes, and yet 
Cameroon, all of them in the second half. They just they couldn't do it. They were tired. They came on strong, but they didn't they didn't pull they didn't finish. So an amazing amazing match, of course, for the U.S. and it really was exciting. President Clinton was there. He was uh, he seen, looks skinny. He looks incredibly thin. He needs to eat him. Go back to McDonald's. No, Is that healthy? Whole, it's the hard thing. But then look oh. at him. Ah, oh, with Carlos Bocanegra. Is that a Budweiser? The, he looks like, a little three sheets in the window you know already. That I'm popping a he beer with you people. Drunk already, doesn't he? Of course he? he is. But somebody, somebody. Or is it that post, southern like thing? Somebody in Huffington Post said, "Well, at least he's hanging out with a half naked guy, not a half naked girl," which I thought was a yeah. very <laughs> clever thing to say. But I mean, look at him. He's like, ha. Yeah. Ah, I want y'all to know that I it's can drink a beer great. too. I can never have it. I love Bill Clinton. He's, he's everybody's I want him to party come guy. Here on the show. He's I think he'd everybody's be great. party man. He'd be great. I Maybe interviewed him, you know, date. when I was like 23, 24. <laughs> he's very touchy feely. Is he? Yeah. Nice. That's a whole different story. Let's do the European it's a different World show. Cup All right. Roundup. So Italy, How France, weird. Italy gone. The, the two teams Done. that played in the finals I match Italy. four years ago outscaped. Well, it's, uh, that's. That's the first time in the history of this uh, no, tournament no, this that that's ever. But you know what? They didn't deserve to win. Different. There wasn't bad calls. There wasn't a, a goal that didn't go in. These guys played like shit. And then Kate in 15 so minutes, they're like, oh, wait a minute. Oh, this is the World Cup. Oh, wait a minute. we got to start to play. So for 15 minutes, they played their hearts out. Oh, this is France. France is a, is oh. a mess. I love you, Terry Man. Henry, but your sportsmanship, all Why of France Why do you love pathetic. him? He's a He's punk. a great athlete. It just France. I don't understand what's going on there. The, Hold the, on. Let's go back the, to let's go back uh, to France before we go to my favorite droba. Um, here, here's the deal. How does Italy and France go out so early? Because they, they're this is terrible. Ridiculous. Here's it. Well, you know my theory. This is my theory is that basically the European teams, all right, have always been dominant, right. and suddenly you have basically, and they're all on the ropes. By the way, Spain was on the ropes, and Spain pulled through. But a lot of things were not set. Germany, scary. England, scary, and in Italy and France got the boot, but. The North America, like South America, Latin America, those teams are right. Mexico's huge, Argentina, Brazil, Uruguay, Paraguay. I mean, they played excellent. So I think that there's some neutralizing thing that it's being played in, in South Africa mm -hmm. and not in Germany and not in France and not in England. But these guys, they didn't, they're old. They weren't playing well. They didn't seem to focus until it was too late. Mm -hmm. I think France is a debacle. I don't know. Is someone, you know, is Carla Bruni sleeping with someone? We don't know. Or this, I mean, what's going on? Well, apparently, the coach, Sarkozy it's even a got involved, disaster. calming yeah. down, trying to get involved, trying to save. It's a the PR French nightmare teams. for them. It's it's really embarrassing. There was a great headline. I think in Le Monde there was maybe it wasn't even Le Monde, but it was. Uh, we're they need look at some Kim Kardashian. Minute, it they need. Uh, we should have sent Kim Kardashian to France, and maybe they would have won. We should have said a little we Kardashian love. Sorry. It's funny they mentioned that, but like it had been a long time a since I talked about Kim. It's Kim's. called a tease. Um, can we look at some headlines, please? Yeah. Because these headlines are fantastic. Are of course, the European the European papers are going insane because lamentable and aujourd'hui enfin. I mean, this it's great. Showing like, off I mean, for pathetic. French. That's right. Yeah. I am trilingual. Terre disastro, Sibelia di torno a casa. Basically, wake up or wake go up home. Wake up or go home. Yeah. I mean, it's fantastic. The church is attacked. Implosion de peuple français. Yeah. De Figaro. These are great. Oh, look at, well, he's the one with all his hair. That's the one who is possibly the son of the other guy with the red hair. Right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the other one. Did you get that? Yeah, I did. Thanks. <laughs> Rude Rooney. Wayne Rooney is the biggest complainer I've ever yeah. seen in sports, he's except for news. maybe Rashi Wallace, who retired. See ya. Goodbye. What? Did you throw, you just throw that in there? Rashid Wallace retired. Couldn't happen to a nicer guy. But here's Rubu who. They Wayne suck, Rooney, England. It's, here's well, the problem. You know why the Latin Americans are great? Because they spend 10 months out of their life playing for, for these premier cups away from their right. families. They have such national pride. These guys are spoiled punks. It's like they take a two-hour plane ride. They go play. They don't care. They're playing for England. They all kind of hate each other. I mean, look at mm. France. They implode. You look, you wonder why Brazil, Argentina, Mexico, these guys are like, they have such a strong sense of community and their country mm -hmm. that they play together as a cohesion of unit and that's why they're advancing. How great is that the Team USA, though in the C group, is now number one, England number uh, two, which I'm means that never England thought I'd plays live the Germany. Of course, USA yeah. plays Ghana tomorrow morning. We have a cheat sheet for you. We're going to show you everything that you have to watch for the weekend, but that's coming up soon. Wimbledon, should we move on to a yeah. little tennis? All right. So Jonathan Isner, this nice young American kid, goes out there. He's like there. from Kentucky, isn't he? Yeah. And basically, as we know, men's American tennis is kind of in the toilet right now. So yeah. We're looking for any glimpse of hope, but he goes out there and plays a legendary record 
three days in a row, suspended by darkness. I mean, you can't even believe it. Three day in a row match finally wins after 20 hours of consecutive. But here's, tennis. you know what? Here's the thing. I didn't feel after when they had it when it was 10 out when it was whatever eight hours and they had to leave because it was mm -hmm. getting dark. I felt really bad because I realized someone's going to have to lose. And as much as I love the competitiveness of the mm -hmm. sport, it was kind of it was made me really depressed that one of them had to go home. Really? Yeah. How melancholy of you. I know it really was. I was not happy about Sack it. Sack up. That get guy into has it. to Come leave. On. Like so someone's done. This and is a competitive you ever sport, know baby. I know, but are you? Here's the bigger question: Do you think they we'll hear about Esner? They always pull their shirts Esner? like this. Do you notice that? You <laughs> Andy, yeah. Andy Roddick's always yeah. going like that. They always pulling his shirts. I don't know what that is. <laughs> Why is that so funny? Uh, they're always pull oh, they're pulling their shirts. They're, they're but wait, what off. happened to him? So he got he got the queen. They got an award. They got money. Andy Murray. Or this guy? This guy. Oh, right. You said Andy Murray, that British queen, because the queen no. came for the first no, time the in 30 years. No, the queen came, yeah, to that match. So he, I don't know about this whole money thing, but all I know is that he did go back the next day after like five minutes of rest after he finally defeated David Mamet. Power bar not, 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 not Didn't the, they have uh, to pee not once? Hold Didn't on they? a second. Oh, this is very funny. Yeah. Not the playwright. Just yeah. came to me. Not Mamut. funny, huh? Yeah. All right, anyway, he came back and he lost in the shortest match ever in the history of Wimbledon. So longest and shortest. Yeah. Federer's through. You Federer's happy? through. Roddick's through. Venus you wore know, a little white dress. I don't know. Not so cute. I'm kind of dying for a little Naturalova Everett again. It feels a little like But yet I want because, someone. name dropper, she chatted with Chrissy Everett this week talking about her book coming up. and All these great ESPN 30 on 30 docs that mm -hmm. are great. You should watch them out there if you haven't seen them. Yeah. But yeah, no, it makes you long for that. It's the, I love, I never tire of watching the Williams sisters, right. never tire of them. But you really, I really, I think tennis is suffering from that kind of great, um, you know, level of competition. I mean, I guess you have Federer and Nadal, but it doesn't feel like the same like it was with McEnroe and Bjorg. Mm -hmm. There's no real drama to it. Right. Speaking of Bjorg. Yeah, speaking of Bjorg. Speaking of Borg, Bjorn Borg. I don't know if we can go it's back. It's time to go Matt back to so hard. I mean, you may not have that shot handy. We're so out of. But look, okay, so here we go. Set Uruguay, up, speaking of, uh, yeah. This is your Diego. Take. Hey, Bjorn Borg. separated at birth. They really are. Can we flip back again and just look at that? But you know what it makes me miss is the Fila. Look at Fila. Fila's yeah. not around it. Where's Fila? Fila was form fitting. Yeah. It looks great. You like it? Next He's week, hot. let's do some more World Cup hotties. Oh, next week, you know, we may have to take a break, but the week after, let's do okay. another World Cup candy. Okay. All right. Uh, next up, we're going to go. I can't believe we're dipping back into the well, but just a little bit more Kardashian news because what else is sports these days but a Kardashian roundup? So, <laughs> Miles Austin of the Dallas mm -hmm. Cowboys, Kimmy's new boyfriend, maybe. Mm -hmm. I say look for look for the Cowboys to take it, uh, maybe to the Super Bowl. If Didn't she work sticks so well them. for Romo. Yeah, well, Romo, Jessica come Simpson? on, Jessica Simpson, no. how can you compare Kim Kardashian to Jessica Simpson? Kim's got Simpson? the look down. See the look? Oh, she's flawless. Yeah, she's got a better track record, too. And so then we'll see. Oh, this is the, okay, this is yours. Go ahead. No, I mean, so um, this is my favorite thing because, not my, well, not my favorite thing, but one of my favorite things because uh, it's become so notorious that if you, if you, mm. Get a ride on that freight train. How is that politically correct? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. You let me let me uh -huh. dig my way out of this one. You have a date with a Kardashian. You yeah, lay she, down with a Kardashian. That sounds so you, biblical. Yeah. <laughs> you lay down. How about that? All the if Kardashians I, if must I have hit trick that. Hair. How about that? If I hit that, maybe I will win an. Maybe I will win a championship too, and that's because, of course, Reggie Bush. Dated Kimmy for a long mm -hmm. time. I mean, a long time actually. Yeah, and long uh, enough to win a Super Bowl. Saints. Uh, Lamar Odom. The Super Bowl. Well, yeah, and you Courtney apparently she uh, doesn't Chloe get enough love. Yeah. Rolls Royce or yeah. something like that. Yeah. Because that's what one does when one loves one's husband. <laughs> right. Yes. And then oh. this is wait, this is a great story. Vanessa Bryant, the leader of the Lakers' wives, is telling all of the girls they can't be friends with Chloe because she's a fake wife. But like, good girl, is she having a margarita? That looks yeah. good. But I mean, how about I don't know. I'm team Chloe on this, this one. Vanessa, to me, it's like I don't know. I don't like her whole thing. She's she's in the way all the time. I, I don't know. She's I feel turning like into she, Doug Christie's she's wife. She's on the parade at the for the Lakers thing next to Kobe. Like what did uh, I, it just makes no sense? Taking to me. attention away from yeah. Bill, uh, from uh, Bill Russell, as you yep. pointed yeah, out, yeah, which no, is so true. Me I mean, get out of the shot, sweetheart. Yeah. You're a wife, and with all due respect, of course. But I mean, just to be so catty and bitchy about yeah. it. 
If you're jealous, I get it, but don't tell all the other wives because those wives are tough. Those clicks are really I would difficult. Love to be a Blaker wife. <laughs> oh. Would you? Yeah, I absolutely would. How about that? Fa my favorite thing in the world is that on any given Sunday when Lauren Holly smacks um, Dennis Quaid across the face and it's like, "You're a quarterback. Get in there." You know, the, the, the truth I is, I love a sport wife. There's I kind of there's a lot of truth wife. to that because I've seen a lot of those wives, a lot of like the baseball wives, and a lot of you're that. a football player. They, they are a tough group. Yeah, they I have are. no problem. I would, I, I would. It's my dream. A little old for it now, but yeah. Wow. Well, from dreams to d bags. Yeah. What right. a transition. We have three candidates you're going there for d bag of oh. the week. The first, of course, is LT. Lawrence Taylor officially oh. indicted for rape of a 16-year-old. What the hell were you doing, LT, in a Holiday Inn in upstate New York? I mean, this is just low. And, and I mean, low. how many other people do you think are in a Holiday Inn in upstate He's New York? He's LT. I mean, what's he looks, looks, wait, look first of all, his eyes are all shiny. What's going on with that? Like, it's a, it's LT, a mug shot. Like, and by the way, the 16-year-old, as you pointed out earlier, went out and said, well, that was really weird. He didn't even want to bleep me. So how was he indicted for rape and they didn't even have sex? Yeah, but the, this could be hearsay. It. This is what the woman in the car, the woman the who whole accompanied thing a sounds like hearsay to me. Excuse me. Let me finish. This is okay. the woman who accompanies a 16-year-old to go have they don't know sex she's, she's to a lie down with Lauren she's Taylor. A and she, and by the way, as you said, call up Steve they don't Tish, even borrow some money. If you're that low that you're going oh, to the you Holiday Inn. Oh, Steve Tish is taking LT's call? Look, at last time I checked, Blindside was about another athlete. Mm -hmm. When's the last time anybody's even seen this guy? Like three minutes ago when he was a Nutrisystem guy and they dropped him because who wants to have a 16-year-old? That was on cable. That wasn't even on national television, that app. Is that right? Yeah. He still was making some coin. Like he was making enough TV. money for at least a nice room I, I like a mid-town I think you're picking on him. <laughs> I don't know. God, but that's how try the, the standard. They've got great rates for whores. Oh, what? now you're just okay. Hate. D bag of the She's week. She's a hater. Number two. You're a hater. What's wrong with you? Okay, what what's I'm wrong a hater. With that? I would have been there. I would have been at that party if I didn't have that Twilight premiere. So you spend 18 months in jail, right? Camera two. So you spend 18 months in jail. You go to jail because you killed a lot of dogs and made them fight. Commissioner of the NFL says to keep a low profile. So what better way to keep a low profile than to throw an all-white party for your 30th birthday? It's his birthday. 30th. He's a black man he that made it to 30. Out. He tweeted you know how this out. African American Facebook. black men make it to 30. <laughs> like it's like I think it's one in two make it to their 21st birthday. <laughs> Give the guy a break. He tweeted it out. D'Angelo Hall's name was on that. He didn't even go. Well, it doesn't matter. Tweet it out. How many times have you seen a thing like Tom Cruise will be at, and they're not at that party? Right. But this Come is on. Mike Vick. Mike Vick was getting 5-2 from the Eagles this year because they yeah, traded they're away need him, by the way. your boyfriend, their former quarterback. Yeah, they're going to need him, Mike Vick. Donald I'm glad Mann. he's out happy and partying and hitting okay, 30. But who's That's throwing a themselves a tweeted out Facebook party? Yo, it's called a low profile. Yeah, but what, how, how do you even, the only reason why you know about this is because it's someone because was shot at the party. Wait a we minute. wouldn't even be talking about this. <laughs> Okay. Well, but that's weird. Having to be shot there. Because that's, that's normal. That's normal. That's normal. Well, not in your world. It just but in so that happens world. that the guy that got Ugh. shot was his co defendant in the dog trial, Qantas yeah. Phillips, by the way. Qantas. Yeah, and let's just say, okay, you, you, you said Can it I up. finish? Can I, I'm begging you to let me finish and I'll tell okay. you why. The one thing that Roger Goodell said was stay away from this guy. It is stipulated in his agreement with mm -hmm. the NFL. Stay away from this guy. Mm -hmm. Now, security cameras did show Mike Vick leaving just before the shooting that happens at every average party. You're telling me that he didn't know that Qantas was I'm coming? I'm telling you that Qantas showed up. He realized things were getting a little, oh, I'm not into this. And he left his party, okay? Mm -hmm. He didn't have a, a gun in his, his sweatpants at a nightclub, okay? <laughs> he left the party, and then 20 minutes, an hour later, someone gets shot. It happens to be the guy that he's ordered to stay away from. So you know what? He did what he was told. Right. As far as we know, the facts as they line up, he was not in the same room as that guy. Now, right. maybe, who knows, we weren't in there, but as the facts line up, and I right. just wish I was a little bit at that party. What was the name of the That's guy with the sweatpants, the former Steeler? who Plaxico went to Burris. Plaxico Burris, thank you very much. That, okay, here was we he go Was he a Steeler again. or did he just play in, in Pennsylvania in, in college um, ball? Steeler, right? I'm not crazy. No, I'm just okay. checking. I didn't All get right. any sleep last night. My kid is sick. I'm a little out of it. 
Uh, all right, so D-Bag of the Week, come on. Who wins? I Tiger. give it to Tiger. You know why? Because now everybody knows who Tiger Woods is. Right. They all, we all know who he is now. So Babycenter.com, like, Why people. does everyone get upset? Babycenter.com follows the story. He promised he would never, oh, I feel I so know. bad. I'll never miss my kid's birthday ever again. Well, what asshole makes that kind of comment? I it mean, is what, so true. Like, you're, you're the number one golfer in the world. I'm never going to miss my kid's birthday. Like, you, you know, who, who he's... So he does. He? Saturday at Pebble Beach, there was Tiger swinging away while his kid Samantha celebrated a birthday. Yeah, but by the way, in fairness to away. him, isn't the kid like in Sweden having the birthday party? I think the kid was in Florida, Windermere. Mm. But what I just love is that it took this to get babycenter.com's attention. So Tiger Woods, yes, sir, you Thanks. win our D-Bag of the Week award for like the ninth consecutive time, but also that it's on Baby Center. So have he you seen that website? Like, yeah, I've, uh, absolutely. I have I've hot seen flashes it. I know just it. thinking I about it. Yeah. I mean, it's like crazy. All right. Uh, Can we get to the things I love? Cheat sheet first, please. Okay, cheat sheet. All right, two games. Which camera am I looking into? Two games you have to watch. USA, Ghana, or right? matches. Or anything. Games, match, Those of us who like pitch. the World Cup. Match. Ghana, on paper, uh, not as good as the U.S., but they do have home field advantage. Uh, who doesn't want to watch World War II all over again with uh, England and Germany? That's really going to be the World Cup uh, right there. That's going to be fantastic. Andy Roddick is through. Serena Williams is through. Nadal. There's a couple good um, tennis matches on Saturday as well. We don't have Sunday because obviously they haven't been played yet. Uh, but Sunday, like I said, is a Germany-England game. And then Argentina-Mexico. Now, I feel Mexico is kind of... Uh, they are boxing out of their weight class in a beautiful way. They're really together. They're moving beautifully. No one's going to beat Maradona and uh, Messi in my mind. I think it's a bit tough match, but it'll be uh, something great to watch. But I liked how you mixed your sports metaphors like that. I did. It was good. Good. Weightlifting, boxing, oh, yeah, that's pretty bringing it all together. Yeah. I like that about you. Yeah. Um, things we love. Shall we go right to it? I, mine is, of course. Come on, it's Brett Favre. Brett Favre comes out and says today, because you know he's saying, "Let me wait, let me make all these little monkeys dance." So he says to all of his like friends down in Louisiana, he's like, ha, 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 watch me make these people nervous. So he comes out and he says right away, you know, I really would love to have a chance to beat the Saints in the, in the uh, football opener on September 9th. I would love to see that rematch of the NFC Championship game. I'd love to go out and beat the Saints. And everyone's in a tizzy. Ah, he's coming out for the 20th season. woo -hoo. Well, I'm excited because I love Brett Favre. But I just love also the reaction. You know he knows he can do all this and make all these little nervous reporters. He's no one's been talking about the NFL for a while. Dance. He's sick of LeBron, all this stuff. He's like, wait, let me, let me get some right. focus again. Right. Not bad. All right, things that I love. Needs the visual for it. So here you go. You, what do you do? You win a chim championship, you go to Disneyland. So here's Vanessa. We already talked about her. Uh, there's Kobe and his two kids. And oh, look, there's Kobe Bryant with a Kobe Bryant t-shirt on. That's fantastic. Okay. <laughs> now, this is all I have to say. What camera am I going to look into? Kobe. The camera All right. You, you're the greatest player playing today. You've got five championships. You did two without Shaq. No one can hold anything against you, okay? You've had some PR nightmares. You're trying to come through it. You're, you've got some management. Someone's helped you. What the f are you doing, okay? Who are you? Like, your kids don't know who you are? Like, they got to look at you on their team? What kind of narcissism is this? Right. And this is what I ask you, Kobe or anybody in Los Angeles or watching this show, four of you, whoever you are, please find me a Bill Russell wearing a Bill Russell T-shirt of himself. Find me Magic with a Magic shirt. Find me Jordan, Jordan with a Jordan. Larry Bird, no, and this is why your legacy is not going to be your, that's going to be part and parcel with your skill. Mm -hmm. It's going to be that. I mean, who, who does that? I take the white party any day over that. <laughs> Look at that. In Disneyland, like you're in LA once again. Who's not going to recognize an almost seven foot tall black man? Okay, he's as tall as Goofy. Okay? He is as like, tall as Goofy. And what does that do to your kids? Right? Oh, there's daddy. Oh, there's daddy. I mean. <laughs> I'm just sitting here laughing. I'm sorry. It just funny. makes me insane because I really liked him a week ago. I was like, I love Kobe's won me over. Now you're back to Ron Ron. And now I'm back to mind. Ron Artest right. and his velour tracksuit at the Twilight premiere. Who is a Bring it, to you a know? Premiere. I loved him. Who thanks the hood and thanks his shrink. I'm all about Ron Artest. Who wears a tracksuit to a premiere? I just don't Why not? Care. If it's yellow and, and, and uh, purple, look great. I don't get he it. He looked great. How about a suit? No? 
little jacket and t-shirt? No, I left that for you. All right, just one last treat for you guys. We want to leave you with something special for the weekend. We want to thank you again for watching Let Me Finish. We will be back not next week, but the week after. I have to go see my mom in New York. That's a whole other question. Are you still awake? Another story. Go ahead. <laughs> can I can I finish the show up, or would you like to? Go ahead. Why, why, Sorry. You, why don't you Honestly. blow your boo boos out? Go ahead. All right. Ahead. No, I don't uh, want to hurt. A little the treat dog. for you. It's all about vuvuzelas and dogs now. I'm going to preface this by saying, be nice to animals, but enjoy your weekend, everybody. Thanks for and, watching. And Landon, take Bianca back, please. Okay. Go Who ahead. is Bianca? Mm.